Hi, and welcome back to another episode on how to hack. So today we're discussing about the use of tracking a mobile device through global positioning system. And we'll be using the same management platform tool on Android by Lemon. So what we'll do is we'll install an application into your mobile device. So over here, once we have the mobile device installed, we can actually control the app through the permissions and we can allow the location tracking. And once location tracking has been allowed, we'll be able to actually track where the mobile device is going and we'll be able to set up a server and a server can actually tell you in intervals of seconds or minutes or hours where the mobile device or the tablet are going into and we can track those locations very seamlessly. So without further ado, let us get started on today's tutorial. So on the left side, I got Call Linux running, which is a server that we are hosting Lemon. And on the right side, I got an Android device that's connected into the computer and we can actually see the screen live. So it is a fully patched, updated Android device. And of course, under APK Builder, we'll build an APK file so we can go ahead and enter the IP address of 192.168.1.18. And once we click Build, this would actually create the APK file. And of course, there's some error messages coming out because of some of the problems trying to check on a Java version, but no worries. Once we hit the finalizing stage, we can actually have the APK file. So going back into Terminal, we can actually go under assets on the temporary folder. So once we copy the selection and we enter CD followed by pasting on it of the clipboard, go ahead and enter and enter ls-l. We can CD into web public, ls-l again, and we can actually see the build.s.apk that has been created right now on 8-11, February 13. And once we have the build.s.apk created, we can actually move the file or copy the file. So we can copy build.s.apk into var, www.html, and once we're done on that, we will be able to actually service the file. So we can enter sudo, and we can enter the password for a username under Loy Liang Yang. So once we do the setup, we can actually cd into var, www.html, enter ls-l, and of course we can see the build.s.apk that's been created and being serviced by a web application server. So moving forward, we can actually go into your favorite browser on your Android device and we can hit the IP address of 192.168.1. Of course, looking here, we can see the IP address of 18 followed by slash build.s.apk. Hit enter on that and we can click download. And once we have the file, we can open it up and we can install the application into your Android device. So it could be a tablet, it could be a mobile device. And once we're done, we can click open on it. And once it's open, we can go under the permission settings. So under permissions, we can actually see what other permissions we can allow. So we can allow location, for example, which is the key demonstration of the technology today. So going back into Lemon of Colonix, we can click under devices. So here we have the name of the device, the IP address, and the device type, which is Samsung. And of course, this is the last scene, and we can click manage. And once we click manage, we can go into the GPS page. So under the GPS page, we can actually click on request or update. So once we have the request, we can actually see specifically where is the mobile device. So over here, so this is where the mobile device is actually situated in. So, and we are able to see it. So if it's moving, if it's going around and so on, we can actually track those information very quickly. And we can go into GPS lock to see where was the device being looked into over the past few hours, past few days, past few weeks. And we have a key capability of setting, so we can actually put a terminal on the interval of seconds to see the GPS global positioning system and click set on that. And once we have the GPS interval updated, we can go into the GPS now or we can go into GPS lock. So every 30 seconds, we'll be able to see a new entry to see where the mobile device is being situated and you can locate it very, very quickly directly from your Lemon management console. So there you've seen it, how quickly we could actually enable a mobile device to be tracked from the Lemon Android management system. And once you have the tracking enabled, you can think so much about all the different use cases. You can think about the tablets that are attached to drivers. You can think about the mobile devices that are used across country and how you want to protect those data and so on. So a lot of useful use cases that you can think about, you can explore on once you have the GPS location tracking being installed into the mobile device or into the tablet. So I hope you've learned something valuable in today's tutorial. And if any questions, feel free to leave a comment below and I'll try my best to answer any of those comments. And of course, remember to like, share and subscribe to the channel so that you can be kept abreast of the latest cybersecurity tutorial. Thank you so much once again for watching.